Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Guitar of the Week. Um, if you can even call it that this week, because we're not even doing a guitar today. Um, so you may have seen Mark Agnesi's uh, Guitar of the Day series. Uh, he did a really cool Gibson mandolin a couple days ago. And I thought to myself, you know what? I've got a pretty cool old mandolin I can show you guys. I mean, it's not that $200, or $200, $200,000 uh, Lore F5, but man, it's it's pretty cool and it's pretty sentimental to me as well. So uh, let's go check it out, shall we? All right, guys, here we go. Uh, so this thing's so old, it doesn't even have a case with it. Uh, either never had one to begin with, or, you know, it's just long gone. Uh, but this is from 1924. A Gibson Mandolin Banjo. Junior. I forgot the junior part. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Kind of half mandolin, half banjo. I think this is even the original banjo head on it. Pretty neat. Uh, so yeah, this thing's pretty sentimental to me. Let's see here. Check out that Gibson script logo. How cool is that? Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, my grandpa gave me this, uh, so you know, it's pretty special. And uh, we're going to go try to play it. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Not exactly a mandolin player, but uh, you know what? We'll give it a shot. All right, guys, we got the 1924 Gibson mandolin banjo here. This thing's neat. Uh, we're just going to be using this microphone today because uh, it actually seems to pick it up pretty well. Um, I did the same thing in the Martin video, and it seemed to work. Um, so I said my grandpa gave him this, and uh, you know what, guys? It's his 93rd birthday tomorrow. Cool with that. Um, can you guys wish him a happy birthday down in the comments? That'd be awesome. Uh, his name is Bill Oswald. I think he's William on Facebook. Um, yeah, he's on Facebook. Again, how cool is that? How many 93-year-old people are on Facebook every day? Um, happy birthday, grandpa. This video's for you. Uh, we're going to do my best to play this thing a little bit and uh, kind of put it through its paces. Uh, it's got a pretty cool history to it. Uh, Grandpa, if you're watching this, you want to explain uh, some of the history behind this thing, uh, you're more than welcome, because uh, you know a little bit better than I do about the history. Um, I believe it came from my step-grandma's side of the family. Um, but yeah, man, this thing's neat. Uh, so yeah, I'm not a mandolin player, so we're going to kind of wing this a little bit. It's really cool. Uh, so here we go, let's try to play this thing a little bit. resonant things loud it'll keep up with my Martin volume wise really loud for such a little instrument um, so this was Gibson's kind of entry-level mandolin at the time um, I mean you had that lower you know f5 the $200,000 thing that was their high end of the spectrum that was just like the best that they could come up with uh, those were made by Lloyd Lore in 1923 and 1924 they're super rare super collectible and this was like it's almost like the Les Paul Jr. of the time. It's kind of the uh, kind of the entry model, but you know what? It plays incredible. I mean, you know, I've not played a whole lot of mandolins, but this one's really comfortable. It's got super low action. It's loud. It's resonant. It's just everything you would want on a mandolin. Even though it has a banjo head on it, which makes it sound kind of strange, uh, but it's really cool. <laughs> I just wish I could play the thing a little better. I need to get on that. I need to learn a little bit more. Oh, something cool. You guys know how Gibsons have three-piece headstocks? Um, and that's one of the ways how you tell like a fake from a real one. This has a three-piece headstock. It still has the wings on it in 1924. Uh, original plate tuners, of course. Um, this one's actually missing a bushing, which I need to replace. Um, I actually do need to do a little bit of work to this thing. Uh, I had a saddle replaced at one point. Um, I need to kind of rework that. And I think my grandpa has the original tailpiece. I'm going to try to put that back on too. Um, that's about 
with the extent of my mandolin playing, guys. Um, I'll do my best here. I, do, I knew some chords. That's A minor. We can try to do this. That's why I meant about the saddle. The string likes to pop out, it's not really deep enough. guys it's sentimental it means the world to me um i'll be keeping this one forever uh, me and my brother kind of share it um so there you guys go there's a mandolin of the week uh this week i hope you guys enjoyed it again happy birthday grandpa i uh, hope you have a great day i'll call you tomorrow um and uh see you guys next week take it easy